103.2 Preston FM. Your community. Your radio. We're going over live now to uh, Clayton Brook Community House. And on the phone I've got Michelle Mason. So Michelle, a very good morning to you. Good morning, Huey. So I'm getting my house and my centres mixed up there. But you're, <laughs> you're, you're at uh, Clayton Brook Community House. Yep, that's right, Clayton Brook Community House. Great. And uh, I believe there's some healthy eating and growing food things happening. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, well, it's because it's a big new initiative to sort of like put into areas like Clayton Brook and putting food back into the local area to sort of like sustain themselves like the good old days how they used to have just crops and all over the place. Right. And trying to put like allotments and so it's just to get people involved and basically having a, a recognition for themselves to actually grow food and put something back. Brilliant. And they can all have their own products and we can go and you can pick it wherever you are, like your apple trees and things like that. Because it started from a thing called Incredible Edibles and it started in like Telford. And it, what it is, it's like where there's places like doctors, police stations, anything like that, what they want to do is replant food back into it. So they we're going to start erecting, like apple, like I said, apple trees, and so we can just go and pick them. Right. So, M- Michelle, do you mean then uh, that uh, people can come along to Clayton Brook House and do it, or w- will they plant it in their own gardens or allotments? How will it work? be around the area as a whole if you will like so like i said outside doctors because how it started we've started a community food going project and clayton brook is like the, the base hub for it so on the first of april this year we had a few people come down we had people from phoenix futures red rose recovery the wildlife trust lancashire county council and even our chair got his hands dirty on the day right and we've done all the gardens we've took all trees out and bushes and what we're going to do is we're going to enter britain in bloom right and so we're going to try if we can get like flowers or with the name of clayton well cbch put it into the front of the house so just to put us on the map and like I say we're entering Britain in bloom and we're starting doing the back and we want to put, put like heather and thyme and herbs really you know yeah. and claim book the, well, the outside of the community house that's where it started and then we're just going to take it from there because we've actually had some good help from places people and Chorley Borough Council that have actually said if we identify land then they'll see if we can have it and we can have some allotments and anywhere, anything else that we want. If, like I say, we can use the land, then we can have it. Well, it sounds a, a, a really good way of moving forward and getting the community involved with this one then. Oh, yeah, because uh, it all comes as well from, like, community assets, if you will, because every, every community, wherever in the land, have assets. People are assets, buildings are assets. And I don't think a lot of people know that there actually can be an asset in their own community because it's also why we have, like, Phoenix Futures involved and things like that. They're, like, at drug and alcohol rec- rec- recovery and they want to they get them involved to give them something to do for, the, for themselves and it's like giving them, mm. you know, a bit of stimulation to say, no, I did that yeah. and I want to better myself. So they want to get people involved and just from all walks of life and say you know come along and everybody can get involved and it's actually say oh I've achieved something that's right it's making Clayton Brook sort of a better place because we're like sort of like a pilot sort of thing where we can where we're we're starting it well you know like it's been further afield like I said let down for but Mm. locally Mm. if you will it's starting in Clayton Brook good there's nothing nicer than eating the food that you grow yourself. So, Michelle, where can people find out more? Is there, um, is there a website or Facebook page that people can find out more about it? Well, it's, it's on the website. All information goes on the website. And then we're, we're on the 15th of this month. We're going to have another 
like day where everybody can come and like get involved. So like I said, that's the fifteenth of April. Right. It's starting like nine in the morning until whenever we had one lady that stayed here right till the end. Five o'clock she stayed here till <laughs> right. and she was just there digging and digging and digging. Wow. And so we can anybody can come on that day if they wanna get involved with that. Okay, so if people go then to Clayton Brook Community House to the uh, web page, they'll be able to find out all about it then. Yeah, because the well, the web page is www.cbch.org.uk, and everything goes on the website. So even pictures from our last dig right. on the. Okay, just give us that address again then, Michelle. The website it's www cbch.org.uk Okay, and uh, nice to talk to you this morning. Thanks for talking to us on Chat City and uh, see you soon. Okay. See you soon. Bye, Thank Michelle. You you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This interview is from Chat City, Press and FM's mid-morning magazine show, live weekdays from 10 till noon.